Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be multiplying and dividing whole numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. Now before we start we need to understand why our numbers actually move when we multiply or divide by 10, 100 and 1000. So if I take the headings for the different columns, I have my decimal point here, I've got my tenths and I've got my hundredths. Now if I take a unit, let's say four units, and I was to move that into the tens column, it becomes ten times bigger because there are ten units in a ten. There are ten tens in a hundred, ten hundreds in a thousand, and so on. And of course, if we go the other way, if we divide a hundred by ten, it takes us to ten. Divide 10 by 10, it gives us a unit. If we divide a unit, a whole, so a whole pizza into 10 parts, it gives us one tenth and so on. <clears throat> and this is the reason why when we move one space, that's times 10, another space, that's times 10, and it's the same as saying times by 100. And if we go backwards, that's divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10, that's the same as dividing by a thousand. So this is why it's really important to understand why we move our numbers larger or smaller depending on the number of zeros and the number of tens that are involved. So first of all on to question one which is 45 multiplied by 10. So again, if we take our units and our tens and we place our 45 in there, and we have our hundreds here, we know that if we are times in by 10, we're gonna move all our numbers, all of our digits, one space bigger. So the four ends up moving into the hundreds column, the five follows it. It's very important that these stay stuck together. And then in the gap here, we have a zero for zero units for a final answer of 450. And next one to question two, which is 712. And we're multiplying that by 10. So again, if I this time, if I write my Number out, 712, I have units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. And this time, we're going to be multiplying by 10 again, so that's one space bigger. So it doesn't matter which digit we start from, let's start from the two this time. So it moves one space bigger, so my two moves into the tens. Again, remembering that these digits remain stuck together and then we place a zero in our space because of zero units and we have a final answer of 7120. And next we're on to question three which is 83 multiplied by 100. So again if we take our original number here and write it out. We have our units and tens and then because we are multiplying by 100 that's the same as saying times in by 10 times in by 10 so we're moving two spaces bigger. So if we take our eight tens first of all move it into the hundreds and then again into the thousands. We keep our digits stuck together don't forget and then we have our two zeros for a final answer of 8,300. And finally on to question four, our last question for today, which is 218, and we're multiplying that by 1,000. So first of all, if I take my 218, I'm gonna multiply it by 1,000, which is the same as saying times 10, times 10, 
times 10. So that's three spaces larger, three spaces to the left. And if we take the eight, doesn't matter which digit we start with, move it one space, two spaces, three spaces. So our eight moves into the thousands column, followed by the one and then the two. So again, ensuring that these digits stick together. And then we have our three zeros, our three blank spaces, our three gaps, giving us a final answer of 218,000. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.